Habbo Hotel. Habbo Hotel is an online multiplayer game, aimed primarily at teenagers. You can create your own rooms, chat with other players, and most importantly, trade. Trading allowed players to gain furniture from other players. But the most essential currency was coins. Coins could only be purchased from the store using real money, which gave all furniture in the game a real-life value. Players would then sell their items and coins on the black market for thousands of dollars. Soon after Habbo's release, a new style of rooms would be introduced that would change the Habbo world forever. Casinos Casinos are where players could come to gamble their coins and furniture playing a variety of games. Players would pay coins to become dealers and play games like blackjack by rolling dice and asking the betting player to hit or stay. Another game was furniture grabbers. Players would roll two dice. If the two numbers matched with a furniture in the game then you won that piece of furniture. Another game was last man standing. In this game players would enter a small area, and the last to leave would win. This game helped bring more players into the room and raise it higher up the room rankings. The most popular casino by far was owned by a user named Fiery Cold. Fiery Cold ended his casino and left Habba for a year. He finally came back and opened a new casino. It was so popular that it filled up almost immediately. And Fiery Cold soon became so popular that he started to get noticed by the Habbo staff members, and started to even work with them to host special events in Habbo. His casinos filled up with teenage dealers who slowly became addicted to gambling. I know this because this is me right here. User Alex11288 For almost two years, we created and operated our own casino rooms, slowly gaining more wealth over time. I then started dealing for big casinos. Common bets would be one gold bar, or 50 coins, which at the time was worth around $25. Another essential furniture that was highly sought after in the Habbo casino world was thrones. Thrones cost around 900 coins, or $450 and were only released by ex-hotel manager Ion who was celebrating her birthday. Habbo would release limited edition furniture in special ways like this and created a high demand for this exclusive furniture. The rarest and most expensive furniture was the Golden Dragon Lamp, which could only be obtained by placing first in the world, in two different Habbo games, named Battle Ball, and Wobble Squabble. Even then, you were only entered for a chance to win the Golden Lamp. At our richest, we had obtained 140 gold bars, 120 dinosaur eggs, 90 thrones, and over 1,000 miscellaneous items, with a sum total value of around $65,000 in US currency. And then one day, we decided to risk it all, in one, major bet. After losing this major bet, we go on to bet our 90 thrones, valued around $40,000, and lose that bet as well. Within only 10 minutes of gambling, we had lost over 80% of our furniture, valued around $50,000. At the time, it was quite devastating. But we never purchased any coins, so we never really lost anything. It taught me a harsh lesson about the reality of life as a gambling addict, and how crushing it feels, to lose everything. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing for more content.